happy Wednesday or happy whatever day you're watching this. My name is Maddie and I am so excited because guess what today is? It's crazy hair day. Check out this picture of me when I was a kid with my crazy hair. Isn't that so funny? I wanna see pictures of you with your crazy hair. So here's what we want you to do. Make your hair crazy, take a picture, and post it on social media. You can post it on Instagram or Facebook and tag us at James River Kids so we can see. But I'm not just excited because today's crazy hair day, I'm also excited because it's missions day. We're talking all about missions. What is a mission exactly? Well, a mission is like a special assignment. And we have a special assignment as Christians to tell the world about Jesus, which is what we're talking about today. Plus, we're gonna get into God's word and Pastor Clint has some special guests that are gonna talk about how we can be a part of what God is doing through missions. It's gonna be an amazing service. Thanks for joining us. Hairstyles. 
So here we go. The first one is called pouring pop. So what you're gonna need for this is a soda bottle, a pipe cleaner, a cup, a headband, and some scissors. Let's get started. Glue this cup to the headband like this. Now take your Coke bottle, cut a hole like right here. Hole doesn't have to be perfect, but it's about that big. And now put your hair in a high ponytail. You can use the pipe cleaner to pull your hair through the bottle. Then you put your headband on and you put your hair in the cup so it looks like it's pouring into the cup. Ta-da! All right, now we've got another one to show you. Hairstyle number two is called the donut. What you're gonna need is a paper plate, sprinkle sock, marker, a hair tie, some construction paper. Have your hair in a high ponytail. Take your plate and cut a hole through the bottom. Like that. Now you're gonna put your hair through the hole in the plate. <laughs> and now take a sock, hopefully a clean one, cut the top off right here. Scrunch it up like so. Then you're gonna put this on your hair and pull your hair through. Now, here's the fun part. You take your hair and you put it around kind of like a donut. So you want your hair to cover up the sock. Like this. Now, you're gonna take your construction paper and you're gonna kinda draw a squiggly outline. This is what your frosting should look like when you're done. And now we're gonna put the sprinkles on. All right, now once the glue has dried, you're going to put it on top of your hair and it's gonna look like a donut. Kids, thanks so much for watching. We can't wait to see your crazy hair. Make sure you take a picture and tag us at Jeans for Kids. Hey kids, Taylor here, and I'm gonna teach you today's big idea. It goes like this, are you ready? Oh, hold on, we all have to stand up. Come on, stand up all together. Here it is. Love always loves, just like that. Now, I think we should practice it again. And this time, since it's a little cold outside, let's act like we're on the beach and we're surfing a giant wave, okay? All right, get on your surfboard. We've got the big wave behind us. Here we go. Love always spin train, woo! Loves, whoa, hang 10. Oh, awesome job, boys and girls. Now, for this last time to practice the big idea, let's act like we are skydiving, so make sure you have your parachute on and locked in and secure. Okay, here we go. We're about to jump off and love always loves, whoa! Wow! Great job, friends. You did amazing on that big idea. Hey, kids. I'm here with my good friend, Boston. Hi, Boston. Hi, Lou. We're talking about water today. And so we're going to talk about some things that we can do with water. But I thought it'd be fun to kind of play a game first. So, so we're kind of doing these into the cups okay. with water. And then we're going to stir it up. And I'm going to give it to him. And he's going to drink. Wait a minute, you're gonna you're gonna put things in this? Yeah. And then I have to drink it? Yeah. Um, this is the stuff that I'm gonna put get in here. Pepper, spaghetti sauce, mustard, ketchup, chocolate sauce, pickle juice. Do you want to pick one? What are these? That is Kool-Aid. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it won't be very good. <laughs> Salt, lime juice. Okay, all right, start mixing up the first one. I'm ready, I can't see. Okay. Now drink it. There we go. <laughs> oh, that's really sour. You gonna do another one? Wait, did you say honey? Now drink. All right, here we go. Oh, got some, is there some barbecue sauce in there? Thank you, Boston, for that special drink. Drink it. Okay, I can smell that one. Oh, that one kind of hurts back here. You gonna put lots of things in the last one? I didn't like that sound. How many things are you putting in this one? Okay. Uh, 
Would you like a drink of it? Boston, I'm gonna tell you, I did not enjoy those drinks very much. But hey, you have something here. What is this? It's a jerry can. I filled one up at home with my piggy bank and my money. So I give it to some people to get some clean water. Boston, what are you doing? I'm putting the money that's in Africa people so they can have clean water to drink. Yeah, you know, you made me some drinks that weren't very tasty, were they? But you wouldn't want to drink dirty water either, would you? No. No. And right now, there's people that are drinking dirty water, but guess what? When you fill that up with money and you bring it, then they can have clean water. And I hope you get to have one and fill it up with money at your home so you can give it to some people. That's right, kids, we want you to have a jerry can and uh, we gave one to every single kid. And what would happen if every single kid brought back a jerry can filled with money? How many water wells do you think we could dig? Tons and tons and tons. And we could help so many people. Yeah, get more clean water. So y'all can just get a jerry can so y'all can fill it up. Hey, I'm super proud of you. Way to fill up your jerry can. I want to challenge everyone to be like Boston, because if everyone did what you did, we would be able to help so many people, wouldn't we? Yes. So in great. In the whole entire world. In the whole world. We could change the world. Yes, like all the people in the whole planet. Boys and girls, we want you to help Boston and I provide clean water. Bring your jerry can, fill it up, bring it back again and again and again. Bye, yeah. kids. Stories of the Bible, the Good Samaritan. This is Jesus, hey. who is the Son of God and the Savior of the world. You see, when Jesus was on earth, he wanted everyone to know what God thought about things. So he took every opportunity to teach people about God's heart. <clears throat> One day, a religious expert stood up to test Jesus by asking him this question. Teacher, what should I do to inherit eternal life? <laughs> what does the law say? The man answered, You must love the Lord your God with all your heart, all your soul, all your strength, and all your mind, and love your neighbor as yourself. <laughs> right. All right. Do this and you will live. Wait! The man then asked, And who is my neighbor? Jesus replied with a story. A Jewish man was traveling from Jerusalem down to Jericho, and he was attacked by bandits. Ah! They stripped him of his clothes, beat him up, and left him half dead beside the road. <laughs> by chance, a priest came along. <laughs> But when he saw the man lying there, Ugh, yuck. he crossed to the other side of the road and passed him by. La 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 la, la 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 la, la 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 la, whoa! Another man who worked in the temple who was called a Levite walked over and looked at him lying there. Please help. Uh, huh? But he also passed by on the other side. Then a Samaritan came along. Uh. Samaritans were hated by Jews. They were seen as lesser people and Jews would not interact with them. But when the Samaritan saw the man, he felt compassion for him. Going over to him, the Samaritan soothed his wounds with olive oil and wine and bandaged them. Then he put the man on his donkey and took him to an inn where he took care of him. One room, please. The next day, he handed the innkeeper two silver coins, telling him, Take care of this man. If his bill runs higher than this, I'll pay you the next time I'm here. Now, which of these three would you say was a neighbor to the man who was attacked by bandits? The man replied, 
the one who showed him mercy. Then Jesus said, yes, now go and do the same. I love that story. It's yes. so good, the Good Samaritan. How does the Good Samaritan story teach us about sharing God's love with others? Like there's no one that we should say, no, I don't want to have them be my neighbor. Really, anyone who's around us that we see that needs help, we need to help them. So in Luke chapter 10, that's where the story of the Good Samaritan is found. And Jesus told this story and he, it starts off like this. He says a Jewish man was traveling from Jerusalem to Jericho when suddenly... These men came in like bandits and they attacked him and they beat him up and left him for dead. Worst day ever. Two guys came that could have helped him. Supposed to be good people, mm -hmm. but they actually just walked on past. They crossed the street so yeah. they didn't even have to like be by him. But a third person came, but it was a Samaritan. Yeah, he's an enemy. Yeah, Jewish Jewish people and Samaritans did not get along they didn't. whatsoever. But what happened? So the Samaritan actually sees him on the ground and he comes up to him. The Bible says that he bandages up his all his injuries and he takes him and puts him right on his horse. Wait, was donkey. it a horse? Donkey. It was a donkey. Or a donkey. A zebra. He and put a him on his animal and took him to get more help. He went above and beyond right. to show him God's love. And Jesus was saying, which of these people was loving their neighbor? It was the third guy. It was the Samaritan. Loving people just starts with seeing a need and then meeting that need. And on Sunday, we talked to the kids about a huge need in the yes. country of Burundi. Burundi. There's a lot of people in Burundi and most of them don't have clean water. So they're going and digging out of trenches and things like that. And it's just terrible water, which makes you sick and all the things that are bad that can happen. And I think we have an opportunity right. because now we know about that need. So now that we know about the needs that are in Burundi, we have a choice to make. We can say, hey, I'll be like the good Samaritan, right. stop what I'm doing, help, or I could be like those other guys that kind of turned their eyes and walked the other way. Right. And of course, we want to be like... The Good Samaritan. And so we gave all of the kids a jerry can uh, that kids can bring that back mm -hmm. and every single dollar they bring... Penny, nickel, nickel dime, everything, quarter. It goes towards helping people in Burundi have clean water where ultimately they can hear that God loves them, right. that he has a plan for their lives. Uh, and I just think about all of the kids, families coming to know Jesus because they have clean water. It's pretty exciting. Yes. We're excited. Cami and I are excited about giving and we just want to encourage you. We're so thankful for you and we're excited to see what you're going to do yes. for missions through your jerry cans. We want to pray for you watching at home and just encourage you to believe that God has big plans for you and that he can use you to change the world. God, I thank you so much for all my friends that are watching online. And we're so thankful that you've loved us, but then you also ask us to share your love with others. So I pray for all of my friends that are watching right now. I pray that they would know that they can make a big difference by seeing a need and then meeting that need and sharing your love by providing clean water. Thank you so much for all the kids that are watching. God, they're world changers and I pray that you would bless them with everything you've got. God, you're so good, amen. Amen. Awesome, we love you guys. You are world changers. Yes, you and are. And I'm so excited. I can't wait to see what's gonna happen. Amazing things. Wow, kids, this has been so much fun. We've loved hanging out with you. Now, we've been talking a lot about missions and these jerry cans, and we want to give you your very own jerry can so that you can be a part of what God is doing. So, here's what you need to do. Click the link underneath me and get a grown-up to help you fill out the form. Then, we will mail you your own jerry can so that you can start filling it up and being a part of what God is doing through missions at James River Church. We can't wait to see you soon, but in the meantime, click that share button and share this video with a friend. Plus, make sure that you're subscribed to James River Kids so that you don't miss anything that we do. There's always something fun happening at James River Kids Online. We can't wait to see you next time. Bye!